I would say the Audi S6 is like a level 100 Snorlax of a car. Like it's big, it's heavy, it's a little bit sleepy, but it wakes up. Let's go catch your attention. So what's going on guys? We're back here again today for another installment on our project Audi S6 series. On today's video, we're gonna take the time to do a full in-depth review on our stage three project Audi S6. So without further ado, let's hit that intro. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everybody stopping in. For anybody new, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I've got a great library of automotive content. Your support is much appreciated. So getting into today's video, you guys saw last time we did our initial stage three reaction for the Project Audi S6. I've also got another video providing like an entire comprehensive build for all the different parts required to do a similar package such as this. So I'll be sure to leave a link somewhere up here if you wanna check that out. So I wanna take some time to do a follow-up video. I've had a little bit more time to spend driving the car, so I wanna give you guys a solid review, do a comprehensive breakdown as far as just looking at the total package here on the S6. So taking a look at our performance output, of course, RS7 turbos, APR stage three, matching transmission tune. So taking a look at the graph provided from APR, you can see we're somewhere in the ballpark of around 634 horsepower, around 670-ish pound-feet of torque. Of course, those are crank figures based on 93 octane fuel. So in terms of power overall performance, I gotta say I am definitely well satisfied to say the very least. I mean, this car makes in my view, more than plenty of power, especially from the standpoint of a daily driver, I think you got more than enough to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> oh man, that torque hits hard, bro. <laughs> Some people are always gonna have that ongoing hunger for more power, and if that's your thing, hey, by all means, the sky's the limit. I mean, I've seen some guys push these platforms pretty hard. You definitely go bigger and badder if uh, you choose to do so. Now, some of you guys may be asking, why did I choose APR? Well, APR has been in the game for a long time. I've always had great results with APR products, both on the hardware and the software side. I also like the fact that I'm getting like a direct fit matching package as far as ECU and TCU software. A lot of people go DS1, definitely another popular upgrade in the 4.0T community. However, as you guys know, DS1 doesn't really offer any proprietary transmission software. So that would require the user to go elsewhere in terms of transmission software. And uh, that's totally fine if that's your cup of tea. But, you know, I'm sure there's some guys out there that do a fine job as far as custom transmission software. I don't have to worry about getting in contact with any individual tuner. I don't have to rely on someone's responses, whether it be from, you know, an email, phone call, any of that kind of stuff. So I like the ability of being able to flash the car at any dealer across the country, plug and play, no issues. I don't really need any support from any individual parties. So for me, that's definitely a strong point. So for any of you that don't already know, the Audi S6, S7 do use the DL501 DSG transmission. From my experience driving different DSG cars, this model doesn't feel quite as snappy or responsive as what I'm used to coming from with a two liter car like my A3, which had the DQ250 trans. And I do notice that it's maybe not quite as snappy, but I will say I'm pretty well satisfied with what we're getting out of the APR DSG tune. It does feel a lot more responsive, not quite as snappy as what you're getting from the two liter cars, but it does what it needs to do. It's still really quick. Definitely happy with the DSG tune. It does feel a lot snappier, more responsive. You've got less delay in the paddles. And of course you gotta have that clutch clamping pressure so you're not gonna have slippage. So in terms of overall quality, value, and performance, I mean, as far as what it takes to get to this level, I think for the money, when you look at like the used market price for a car like this, and what it takes to make that 600 plus horsepower figure is actually a very reasonable value. 
I don't believe there's too many other vehicles that can really get you to that same power level for the money. I mean, it's really a, it's a force to be reckoned with, no doubt. <laughs> oh man, that torque hits hard, bro. <laughs> I think what I love about the Audi S6 is it just totally blends in. I mean, from the exterior, it's pretty unassuming, especially this one having like stock wheels, no chrome delete, no RS style grill conversions. I mean, it's pretty unassuming. I would say the Audi S6 is like a level 100 Snorlax of a car. Like it's big, it's heavy, it's a little bit sleepy, but it wakes up. It's gonna catch your attention. I mean, this thing is just an absolute rocket, man. <laughs> Now, as far as our selection on aftermarket turbochargers, I went with the HPA Motorsport RS7 hybrid turbos. This is basically gonna be like a, a simple OEM replacement, nothing too crazy. It's not like an oversized turbo or anything that's too ridiculous like that, but I'm pretty well satisfied with them. The only thing I will comment on, guys, if you decide to pick these up, they do work well. However, there is a piece of paper in the box that tells you that they have to be reclocked prior to install. They're basically just loosely put together for shipping purposes. So so what you're gonna have to do is you have to separate the cartridge from the housing and you're gonna have to reclock the turbo to get everything to line up. Once that's done, your turbos are ready for install. So my only point of criticism would be, I really wish these actually were fully assembled, drop and ready turbos. For the money, I really can't complain. I do feel the price point was reasonable. Now, some of you guys may be asking about exhaust. Currently, as the vehicle stands here today, our exhaust is completely stock. Everything from the stock downpipe, stock cat back, all that good stuff, nothing's been changed. Now, it's often a hot debate about downpipes, stock downpipes, aftermarket downpipes. Right now, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Some of you guys may ask, do I need aftermarket downpipes for stage three? I did actually reach out to APR support before this install, and they did confirm that it was okay to run the stock downpipes with the RS7 turbos and the stage three file. So no issues there. Of course, if you're going for all out power, yeah, absolutely, you're gonna make more power with aftermarket downpipes. But, you know, it depends on where you live and uh, what your goals are, of course, with the car. Oh, let's see about that power here. Dude, it just like, it just, it's like a freaking rocket ship, bro. I mean, this thing just takes off and you're just like gone. <laughs> now, something else to comment on with this particular build is I think when you have a twin turbo setup, you've got really small turbos and they spool up very quickly. I have to say, there's really no perceivable turbo lag despite having stock downpipes. So I'm pretty happy about that, guys. <laughs> Dude, it's so aggressive, bro. So if you're on the fence, you're not sure, if you've got an Audi S6 or S7, I think it's a fantastic package. You really can't beat it for the money. It's a great setup for a daily driver. It's very smooth, very reliable, excellent power delivery. You got more than enough power, in my opinion. If you want to make more power, hey, you can do whatever you need to do. If you want to go bigger and badder with the turbos, if you want to do fueling setups, custom tunes, this, that, and the other. But as far as APR Stage 3 overall, again, very well satisfied. So guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Definitely appreciate you guys checking it out. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, like the video. It really does help improve the visibility of the channel. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.